Validation alone won't do as much. We also need to remove or replace any data that might have some malicious code. For this, we're gonna use another library called Express Validator. This library also does validation, but is not as popular as Joy. So this is how it's done. You call sanitize body, and then you pass the item you want to sanitize, and then you chain your the methods. So let's do this. So we're gonna add a trim and a escape. The trim is gonna remove the white space, the same as we're doing here. And we're also gonna add escape, which is gonna replace any programming code with some symbols. So let's see how it works. We're gonna sanitize the update and the create users because we get the, those are two that is we are receiving data from. It's here and on the router here. So let's start with the sign up. After the route, we're gonna pass an array, sanitize body, and uh, we only need to sanitize the email because password you're gonna hash anyways. That's what you're gonna save in the database, so it doesn't really matter for us. And we can call trim and then escape. Like that. It's gonna use spritz here to. So this is our middleware. We need to import the sanitized body. And uh, before anything, we need to actually install it. So npm install express validator. And this is what we're using, sanitized body and sanitized field. So to import it, we need to import sanitize body from express validator. And here we're gonna use the filter because this function is inside filter. And then we can uh, skim off a few kilobytes over here. You can see if you don't put that, it's 53 kilobytes. And if you add it, a little bit less. So now we have access to it, we can use it. There you go. Now let's try it out. Here I'm gonna do that post request again. I'm gonna pass a real password now with more than six characters. In test, it was passed, it was created. Let's check the database. So it was created successfully. Let's try it out in the user update now. Here we're gonna do a few more. We need to do on the URL, biography, username. Here on the photo URL, we don't need because you're going to use the meme type anyway to validate the photo, the image. We need to do the email again. Username, biography, and URL. So let's do that now. Same thing again, we pass an array. And here we can do all the sanitization. Sanitize body, email, also trim and escape. So let's uh, pull in the sanitized body. I'm just gonna copy it from here. So here to save time, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste a few times. Username, bio, and URL. So I'm gonna fix it up with um, Fritz here. So this is what you're trying to avoid. Whenever the user will send you some data, they can actually use um, injection and inject some JavaScript to run behind your back. 
So if you do a HTTP put request to the actually let's get a user ID first. Put request to that user, and here I'm gonna pass username. Calling. So far so good, it works. We have our data over here. But then if I want to send something else, Like this if I send a script a JavaScript function over there if I don't have this uh, escape here marked and I send it I'll get this saved so whenever people runs this code and is not proper sanitized this function will run so that means uh, malicious hackers can send any kind of code and because you didn't uh, sanitize it properly it's gonna get saved and it's gonna get run in someone's computer so this is really bad idea so always sanitize your data so now if you do again with the escape as you can see over here I have the alert over here and if I send it again now it got replaced by this bunch of symbols in here so here you're escaping and you're replacing the html tags with this information you can actually remove instead of replacing them this is totally up to you this is something that it's really worth to get deep into this is something that you must do on every application you can never trust the user to send the proper data so basically this is how you do it and why you do it i urge you to learn more about this and act accordingly because this is not cool to leave your app open like this without san a proper sanitization this library uses um, another library under the hood called validator validator.js by this guy so if you scroll down you're gonna see the sanitizers over here he says you can blacklist uh, in case you're doing rejects and stuff escaped what you, we used this is left trim and uh, right trim over here but we did the trim which does both got normalize email here's like use cases depending on the email you you're using i wanted to show you something so in here on our email schema we need to remove this lower case that was just to show you the possibilities so back in here on the normalization here you can check which ones you need like to get the gmail or outlook there's a lot of options you can also change the data to whatever field you need like if you need a date just to make sure it's a date or if it's an integer this one is the one we used as well so here we get more information so now let's commit git status git sick git cm there we go so now that we got our data secure with password hashing with um, validation and sanitization let's keep going and we're gonna learn about middlewares